Hello Nancy, so it's currently Wednesday 9.53 p.m. I spent several hours trying to understand what happened with Skype. I lost all my contacts and uh, I still don't understand how to to manage this, uh, this issue. So I'm connecting uh, with everyone individually, try to get everything back. So just to let you know, Skype is really getting on my nerves. So lesson one all clear two the two exercises from the previous book were perfectly done so i'm starting directly with lesson one getting cold feet meaning like you're changing your mind at the last minute you get you're getting scared afraid nervous so i gave you the example of uh, skydiving imagine you are in the plane the plane is going up it's taking off you're t getting a uh, really, really high and suddenly you know somebody opened the door and they tell you jump okay now you can jump with your parachute and you you're scared so you're gonna change your mind and we can say well I'm getting cold feet I don't want to do it so people can get nervous before getting married, before the wedding, you know, or before a job interview, uh, you know, skydiving, you know, uh, scary or dangerous kind of sport can be any kind of, uh, you know, uh, what's the name of this? It's like uh, bungee jumping, like you jump with an elastic, a place where you didn't know anyone, like you're invited to a wedding and you don't know anybody. A situation in which you were going to tell someone something serious but you change your mind okay so can you believe it Jenna your wedding is in two weeks I know what's wrong well I think I'm getting cold feet oh don't worry that's normal that's how I felt before I married him but everything will be fine you and Rick are really great together I know but maybe we shouldn't wait we can't even afford to buy furniture. Oh, so it's it's money that's making you have second thoughts. Like you think about it. You're just changing your mind because you're having second thoughts or you are getting cold feet. But deep down, you really want to get married. You're right. I really do. I'm dying to marry Rick. That means you can't wait. A second dialogue between Tim and Rick. Hey, Rick, what's wrong? I don't know. I just hope I'm ready to get married. Uh-oh. Are you getting cold feet? I guess you could say that. I'm about to change my life for good, so I'm kind of nervous. I'm a little nervous. Okay, then call her the wedding. But I'm dying to marry Jenna. And she's dying to marry you. So why don't you just take a deep breath and calm down? Okay. So, Rick and Jenna are going to get married in two weeks. True. Jana is nervous about getting married, but Rick is a nervous, uh, they're both nervous. Ellen and Tim are married, yes. Ellen thinks Rick and Jana should get married after they have enough money for furniture, nope. Rick and Jana will have a happy marriage, we don't know. So, to get very, very nervous, that means to get cold feet. Okay, so you, you're going to change your mind. You don't want to deal with the situation. Don't have enough money to, can't afford to, really want to, is dying to, relax, uh, chill out, calm down, in your heart, deep down, well, forever, a marriage. <laughs> so, get cold feet, become so nervous about starting something new. A life change such as a marriage a new job that you think you shouldn't do it okay have cold feet be so nervous about starting something new that you think you shouldn't do it okay the past got cold feet I had cold feet to have cold feet or to get cold feet okay so get and have to get cold feet and cold feet and to be nervous are not exactly the same when you have cold feet, you are thinking about not 
doing something that you're afraid of. For example, if you're very afraid of a test and go home, so you don't take the test, you go home instead, you have conflict. But you're afraid of a test and you still take it, you are nervous. There are two possible results after getting confit. The person decides to take a big step and do something, or he, she decide, decides not to do something. Did it get married? Yes, two weeks before the wedding, she started to get confit, but then she relaxed and was fine. Did they get married? No, at the last minute she got confit and cancelled the wedding. To get confit, no matter what, you are nervous, but here you are making the decision of not doing something or not going somewhere okay or not saying something to someone so you're nervous plus you don't really do anything you change your mind and you back up to go home getting nervous is getting nervous okay you you can still do uh, you can still jump you can still p take the test etc okay about about is a preposition and is necessary to have a noun it is necessary to have a noun after a preposition. If you want to use a verb after get, have confit, about, you need to change the verb into a noun, form called a gerund, that means ing. To do this, add ing to the verb. Examples, get confit about buying, about going, about doing, about living, about getting. I hope you won't get confit about the trip. Well, this is a noun. When she heard about the low salary she got confit about taking the job he had confit about hiking so far in the mountain so he decided to just take a short day hike about plus a noun uh, plus a verb plus a noun uh, or plus a verb plus ing okay so we know that this expression will use a gerund that means ing form okay so did you ever get confit yes no you got confit, explain what happened. Getting married, you said, you don't remember. Starting a new job, probably, yeah, it's the same for everyone. Performing in front of an audience, acting, singing, playing an instrument. I do, but I try to force myself to do it. Making a speech, it depends what it is. It depends the audience, it depends how many people are in front of me. Playing uh, on a sport team, man, no. Coming to this country, a bit. Others, well, you can give different examples. Can, can't, could, couldn't afford. Have or not have enough money. Can't afford to do something or can't afford something. I didn't know you have a job. Well, I can't afford to go to school full time, so I work and go to school part time. I thought you were going to buy a new car. I wanted to, but I couldn't afford one. I had to get a used car, but it's okay. That camera is so expensive. Don't worry, I, I can afford it. Okay. Let's just finish with this one. They can afford to use phrases with a four and three and four. They can afford to... They can afford to, I don't know, to buy books, but they can't afford to go on vacation. They can afford a, a bicycle, but they can't afford a car. Last year, he could afford a new car, but now he couldn't afford a new car, but now he can. Last year, he could afford a long vacation, but this year he can't. Okay, We stop here We're on page 6, beginning of page 6. You have a wonderful evening. And uh, I don't think really, you know, I mean, I don't think there is a lot of uh, vocabulary on, uh, that is from Microsoft. Yeah, I'm not happy about Microsoft right now. Uh, I hope so. You hope something that can happen. I hope not. The opposite. You don't want this stuff to happen. Okay. Uh, when you get married, you need at least two witness, two witnesses. Okay. Uh, ideally, you know, friends or you know, people you can trust. Uh, the roller coaster is what you find uh, in different fairs and different parks. Okay. 
Roland Garros, I, I recommend you to check on a regular basis the website to see when uh, the tickets will be available. I'm pretty sure, you know, just in a few days or a few hours, it should be available. Well, you can check. So it's called in English the French Open. Um, furniture always singular, never plural, even though you have different furniture. To chill out, relax, deep down is what you feel deep down in your heart. Okay. So many people go to Las Vegas to get married. You know, it's fast, easy, and also fun because you can have Elvis uh, singing for you. So it's a bit cheesy, but you know, it's a bit funny, but it's okay. So I see you tomorrow at nine and uh, I'll have a class right after you. And normally after we're gonna get ready for my daughter Christmas Carol. So you have a good evening and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you. Bye bye.